All right, Super Bowl 54 is finally here. San Fran is technically the visitor, even though the game's being played in Miami. They are a one and a half point road dog. Kansas City, Mahomes became the second player ever to throw for at least 250 yards, three TDs, and 50 plus yards on the ground in multiple games during one postseason run. The only other player to do that, Joe Montana in 1984, that would have been my third Super Bowl I ever saw. So I do remember it, I would have been, well, I won't say how old I was then anyways. San Fran, Raheem Mostart became the first player in NFL history to have 200 plus rushing yards and four TDs in one playoff game. That has never been done. He finished with 220 yards for it was 27 or 29 carries or something like that. So both these teams are setting records. For the first time I can remember, you got two dominant tight ends scoring off in this game. You got Kittle on the 49ers, who is just an excellent pass blocker. And on the flip side, you got Kelsey, who is not, I, I wouldn't say as good, but he is like right there as a pass blocker for Kansas City as well. Both are key to these offenses. Both Kelsey and Kittle lead the, led their teams in receptions and reception yards this year. So obviously the key targets for their QBs throughout the duration of the season. The 49ers allow a lot of separation underneath to prevent them big plays, especially when they got the lockdown corner and that defensive line that puts so much pressure on QBs, or at least it, that's the perception we've been, we've seen all season. I believe they finished with over 55 sacks this year or somewhere around that 55 number. They have the five first round draft picks up there on that line and, and led by Bosa. They, they acquired D Ford from the Kansas City Chiefs in the offseason. Uh, I forget when exactly it was they acquired him, but that was a trade. So D Ford might have a little extra edge in his game this weekend, so watch out for that. KC, can they take advantage of that soft coverage underneath uh, with a lot of quick routes, especially like little dump offs to Williams, the running back there, or ha having uh, Hill cut across the middle, Kelsey just doing short little hooks or slants. Quick little routes can work just as good as running the ball, and that's why the Chiefs use these pass and plays. Andy Reid likes to use them little screens and little hitch passes, hooks, and, and slants and crosses to, to affect the game similar to a running game would. And then once the safeties in them bite like they would on a, a play action for a run heavy team like San Fran, which San Fran is one of the best at is the play action game because they got the trio running backs, uh, Coleman, Mostert, have been taking turns this postseason for them. It was Coleman two games ago and Mostert the last game as everybody remembers. And like I just mentioned his yards and his numbers he put up. So which team can really take advantage there? The, uh, just un unbelievable that the running game for 49ers is averaging what 235 and a half yards per game on the ground and that that just makes a jimmy g if he makes 10 passes and gets that ground attack going that play action on them 10 passes could be all deep bombs to sanders or one of his wideouts or hidden kittles up the middle or something because kansas city's defense will be biting on that so hard so a couple interesting factors both ways for that um kansas city is 7 0 7 and 0 versus top five pass defenses in mahomes career that doesn't matter whether it's regular season or playoffs. Kansas City is 7-0-1 against the spread in their last eight games. 49ers are 6-1 against the spread this year versus teams with winning records. The home team is 4-0 against the spread in this matchup. Kansas City versus San Fran. So that would lean to Kansas City. The 49ers are 7-6 straight up all-time versus Kansas City. That rivalry dates back decades. They really don't play each other that often. The, the last time they played was what in the preseason this year, so that don't mean shit really in the long run. The 49ers are three and seven against the spread following a win of 14 plus points, which is what they did last game. So that's another quirky little stat to look for. The 49ers versus KC, the last five games, Kansas City is four and one against the spread versus the 49ers in their last five head to head. 49ers are the fourth team in the last five Super Bowls to average 29 or more points during the regular season and make it to the Super Bowl. All the other three teams, well, they lost. And that is very recent stats. That's the last five years, the last four out of the last five teams. Well, basically three of the last four. And this will be the fourth out of five, sorry. 
KC has scored 30 plus points in all four of Patrick Mahomes playoff games so far in his career that is tied for the second longest streak since 1950. Andy Reid is 23 and 5 after a bye week that's in his career both regular season and playoffs. Everybody remembers when the Eagles lost to the Patriots in that Super Bowl. Can't really blame Andy Reid for Donovan McNabb and all the shenanigans that was going on there. Don't know why I said shenanigans, but whatever. It is what it is. Special teams edge, I will give to Kansas City. They got the all-pro returner, kick returner, punt returner, special teams kid in Hardman. And their kicker, Harrison Butker's range, I think, could be a difference, especially if neither defense can stop the opposing team's offense and this game does come down to a long field goal possibly to win or tie send it to overtime whatever the case may be not necessarily how i see this game but that would be the edge to kansas city in my opinion kansas city ranked first in hurry probability at 9.3 percent now hurry probability allowed it reflects the likelihood that a QB will be under duress within three seconds of the snap. The lower the rate, the better the number. So Kansas City's O-line was number one in this stat, allowing Mahomes to be clean for the first three seconds. And with his ability and his ability to extend plays, get out of the pocket and run the ball, that could be huge, huge for Kansas City's offense and really put the pressure on San Fran's defense. On the flip side for San Fran's, pressure rate fell from 33.6% down to 22.2% in the second half of the season. And it was even worse when they faced QBs that had mobility or mobile quarterbacks, whichever way you want to look at it. Well, Ramsey, Shadow Hill, there's so many little matchups in this game to watch out for. Ramsey doesn't usually... Uh, travel he usually stays on the one side of the field and that's it Tyreek Hill the speedster in Kansas City he moves into the slot he moves to both sides of the field they line him up all over the place I think Kansas City in the end has too many weapons I think Reed is a better coach than Shanahan like I said I don't think that Super Bowl loss by Andy Reed with when he was uh, coaching the Eagles to the Patriots was on him Shanahan I would put that blow up remember Shanahan was uh, in charge of Atlanta Falcons offense when they blew that 28 to 3 lead in Super Bowl 51 Yeah, three years ago 51 to New England uh, He didn't want to run the ball for some reason in the second half. I don't know what the play call I don't know what he was doing in that game Shanahan and Garoppolo I just think Reed and Mahomes are both better than Shanahan and Garoppolo and I think the lines match up fairly well in this game where it doesn't push me over the one side or the other normally I'm all about the trenches I go for the O lines and D lines but I think these two teams are pretty evenly matched they're both highly ranked one on the defensive side one on the offensive side so this game comes down to coaching execution and quarterback play in my opinion and I think the Chiefs have way too many weapons to for San Fran to keep up I think Kansas City not only covers the spread and wins this game I think they win this game like 42 to 21. I think they double the score of San Fran. I don't think the 49ers will be able to keep up with them. And Shanahan, he might just stick with the run game even if they're down 14 to Mahomes and Kansas City. I really love Kansas City on this. I've also got a couple bucks since the, the odds were so good. I've also put money on Tyreek Hill to be MVP, Travis Kelsey to be MVP of this game as well. Anyways, that's my NFL picks for this Super Bowl 54. Peace.